Good morning, everybody. This is Wednesday, June 22nd. It's about eight in the morning. I got the day off work for the week of Juneteenth. Um, each of us were allowed to take one day. This was my day. And I am at Crystal Cove State Park in Laguna Beach, passing the bathrooms, fun enough. But, um, oh, nice, they have a shower there. Well, that's a awesome shower, nice. So, I will be doing the backcountry hiking trails. Should be about a 10 mile loop total from my car, which is right there, as you can see. Cool little t picnic tables, this is cool. This is my first time visiting this park. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to, by the way, is because this park has some backcountry campsites, um, like dispersed camping sites right along the trail, um, up in, up on the hills and mountains and stuff. So, Tot says she wants to try backpacking, and I figured, uh, this might be a good candidate for her first backpacking trip. Uh, it would be a pretty short hiking loop, and it, the weather would be obviously very temperate. So we'll see. But it's already freaking like 70 degrees this morning. And uh, I think the high was only supposed to be like 73 to 75. And if it's 8 in the morning and it's already 70, I imagine it's going to be warmer than that today. But uh, the water here is 70 degrees. So my plan today is to do the 10 mile loop quickly. Uh, I, as you can see, I don't have much of a backpack on my back, just like a, like a 10 liter pack maybe, and it's not even full obviously. I'm basically just carrying water and a snack bar in case I get snacky. But uh, I'm going to be, I think I'm basically going to do it kind of fast pack style, which means I'm going to be going uphill hiking and then when I'm downhill and straightaways, which actually right now is a straightaway, um, and flat ground, I'll be jogging. That way I can hopefully get this done relatively quickly. I don't want to be on this trail even to 1030, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be on this trail probably until 11. So I'm just going to try to hurry up, get a good day in. See you guys later. There's your... Nice Southern California rattlesnake warning that you get everywhere. There's our map. What we're going to be doing, we are, you know, it tells me where I am, but I'm here, right? So I'm going to be going basically this way. Boom. I'm excited. I'm sure you are too. See you guys later. Ranger Station. Gain some elevation, not a lot, put some. Oh. Different snakes we've got here. Gophers and king snakes, they're the okay ones. The birds we get. See you guys later. Oh, we have a little sign here. More signs. See you guys. Well guys, you can hear the thunder. I saw lightning. And I felt a couple raindrops. Let's just say this is just about the last thing I expected today. There's nothing. Oh man, now it does. Okay. I just checked my weather and it says it's going to start raining. And I checked all day. Or when I got here, I looked. This morning, I looked. Last night, I looked. No rain. Of course, no rain because it's Southern California. And then, of course, the day that I have off work 
and the day that I come here to have a beach day and a nice hike day, it rains and thunders. I mean, come on, right? Yesterday was my Murphy's Law day. It's hilarious. See you later, guys. You know, I am walking around and I'm gonna be on the top of this mountain here with electronics on me. I don't know that's a smart idea, but you know what they say about your chances of not getting struck by lightning. I mean, come on. We're not actually gonna get struck, right? Put this on in the hopes that there's lighting. It'd be nice if I caught some. It is moving overhead right now though. I don't like that feeling. The real rain. I was not prepared for this, guys. Oh my god. Holy crap. All right, I'm gonna try to hurry up. Hey guys. As you can tell, I look great. Um, so, got a great view. The rain has stopped for now. Hopefully that's all of it. I mean, I know it's moving away anyway. But man, it rained hard here for a second. I got wet. The trail, as you can see, was, I mean, you know what it looks like when it's dry dirt. It does not look like dry dirt anymore. It's very soft on the foot. It's very interesting. Can't believe that happened. I'm, I'm a little shocked at that. Oh, there's a ranger down there. I wonder if they're helping people or something. Anyway, I'll get down there in a minute. But, all right, I'll see you guys later. Just time to jog again. Muddy canyon that way, but I'm staying on No Name Ridge, which is this ridge. Looks like there's rain. I don't know if you can tell, it's coming down right there. So it looks like it's not all in front of me, but that's okay. What a great day it is anyway. See you guys. See the steam rising from the ground? Yep, that's from the rain. Cool rain, hit the hot ground. And stopped. Cool. I think, actually, I don't want to even take, take the, the chance. I imagine I'm still going straight, but I know that one of these times I don't go straight anymore. But I do here. Actually, no, this is where I cut in. Good. Good, good. I have left No Name Ridge, and I am on my way to Deer Canyon Campground to check that out. I would imagine there's going to be some good elevation loss and gain here. As I'm going down into the canyon, I'm sure I'll lose it pretty quickly. And then when I come back up on the other side, I'm probably gain it pretty quickly. See you guys later.
<clears throat> it's pretty cool. Guys, I have found Deer Canyon Campground. Looks like there are five sites. Pretty sweet, actually. Not too bad, man. Not too bad at all. Ooh. Is there normally water access here? Shut up. When I say normally, I mean for the, you know, three, four months that there might be. Because I'm guessing it's dry right now. Ooh, that's really dry. Yep, I don't know if there is water access here or not at any point in the year. Looks like they have a camera down there, though. That's interesting. Or a sensor. Hmm. This is cool. This would probably be my campsite that I'd choose. If I could choose. This is a good one. Although this one also is really good. So we'd want two or three. Interesting. This is cool. Very cool. <clears throat> oh, one's over here by itself? No, I'd want one. And it's got trees over it. Oh yeah, we want one. Although it doesn't look very flat, does it? No, we want two or three. Either way, that's sweet. On we go. Sorry if this is blurry. Something crazy just happened. I just missed getting struck by lightning. I'm not kidding. It was so close that I felt it shock my foot. Lightning. I mean, it. as soon as it, I mean, it was so bright, it was like a picture in front of my face. It was just it was so bright, the flash right in front of my face. And I felt it on my foot at the same time. And then immediately heard the loudest lightning I've heard. So then I ran under there and I, and I hid under there for the last 10 minutes because that scared, that scared me guys, not gonna lie. Well, I just saw a biker go by, so I'm gonna keep going, but, oh my God. Hey guys, I'm gonna risk repeating myself. Honestly, the last few minutes, the last half hour or so, 20 minutes, seems like a complete wash in my mind because of where I'm at mentally. But uh, I almost just got struck by lightning a little bit ago, guys. I'm not kidding. It struck like so close to me that it shocked my right foot. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously I've been walking around in some rain and thunder and I thought it was over. I got to the ridge line, took a picture. It hit right in front of me, shocked my foot. It was so bright. The flash took up my whole field of vision for that split second. And, uh, and then it was the loudest thunder I've ever heard. And I just, uh, I had to gather myself for a little bit. I kind of freaked out. And, uh, yeah. So, now I'm on the top of this mountain here with a 360 view. Figured I'd take this out. It's been a little bit since I've taken this out. Um, um. Cool. See you guys in a little bit. That's uh, the 73, by the way. I just want to get this 
Looks like there are 20 sites up here. Unless this just continues the number from the other ones and starts at 15 or something. But there's a number 20 on that, so that means me to think that there are at least 20 campsites, even total, along this uh, trail. It's very surprising to me. More than I would have thought. In there these are some good spots this is the upper Moro campground these are some good spots oh yeah for sure This is cool. This is a great campsite. <clears throat> this might be the place to take Todd. flowers so nice hmm oh yeah so it does look like this goes out a little bit to some more campsites or maybe a group campsite out there yeah it looks like a group site but uh, I don't need to go see this we get it There we go. Hopefully, hopefully that's the end of the rain and the thunder for the day. We'll find out. First of all, look at that thing. And, but there's campsites up here. This is a camp spot, a campground over there. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to figure out which one this is. But there's a legit restroom up here. Crazy. This might be the place to stay right here. Even if you were right there. Doesn't matter, this is a great spot. <clears throat> Matter of fact, that is a very good spot because you got some cover from the wind. Yeah, I like that. Which number is that so I can remember it? I probably got it on camera, didn't I? No, I didn't, did I? I didn't see one. Hmm. So that's how they get you, the no number. 
Fair enough. All right, well, sun's coming out. I hope it's gonna be out over the coast. It doesn't look like it. So this may not be a beach day after all. We'll find out. We'll see when we get there. See you guys. You know everybody? So this is a little more campground. Interesting. I figured it would, I figured it would be lower than this. Got a uh, knack bar as my snack bar today. Peanut butter chocolate, that's just my one. But got this idea. These are Canadian energy bars. Made in Canada. Haha. <laughs> and this was recommended by Justin Outdoors from YouTube. Who is Canadian? I normally do pro bars, but I wanted to switch it up to something different. Probably gonna go back to the pro bars. Hey guys, I wish I had taken this out earlier. I didn't even realize this. I was kind of in my own zone, trying to pick up speed and make up time. But uh, so, look at this little area. So this is all roped off here for habitat restoration and uh, natural restoration, all that stuff. Look at this little area here. This is beautiful. This obviously burned. And since then, look at it though. It's got green coming up. Beautiful flowers. It's great. Yeah, it's beautiful. Cool. Hey everybody. Want to get this out again this looks super cool this is obviously where it burned if you can see the uh <laughs> the steam coming off of the ground there super cool I got this out just because uh, I wanted to get all this burned stuff. This is different. I'm not used to this. This almost reminds me of what the volcano looked like in Hawaii. It's cool. stand out there but it's not allowed area closed fine oh wait a minute but 
but it's not closed there, eh? Wow, this is incredible, guys. This is the view we've all been waiting for, eh? It's almost worth it just to go up and back. Not even go up on the other side. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, hey, cool. You know, it's really cool. You guys can't see it, obviously, but right to the right of this little hump right little rock right here you can see a parking lot i can see my car my blue car back where we started just about beach access doing a great job Back where we started. Cool. Well, done about ten miles. There's my car, which I like to show. Gosh, almost got struck by lightning and died today, but we'll see. Oh, what a great day.